Hey peeps, in this video we're going to create a custom laser cut and engrave sign. We'll be melting two different powder coat colors onto our wood using our Momport 55 watt CO2 laser engraver. So let's get to the project. All right, so I'm here in Lightburn. We're gonna bring in our design here and we're just gonna trace it. There are some imperfections here in this diamond here, which we can pretty easily recreate because it's really just a square rotated at 45 degrees. Just gonna delete the old, but I need to ungroup it first. And then what I'm gonna do is use this and do an inset using the uh, offset tool. Uh, so now I'm going to do an offset so that we can have a cutting uh, edge because this is all gonna be engraved on our engraving layer. So I'm going to use the offset tool again and go outward. I think I want to round the edge on this one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a different layer. This will be our cutting layer. And for our black layer here, it's going to be a fill. But I do want to put these on different layers because I'm going to be powder coating in two different colors. So this is actually what it's going to end up looking like. Uh, our white background, a red border here for the diamond, and then black for the little flame here for our little flammable sign that we're making. So that all looks good. Now it's about getting settings done. So we will go to our library and try to pull some settings there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is create a new layer that we can use to melt our powder coat. So that's going to be on top of the engraving layer, but slightly outward to the engraving layer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group these shapes. I'm going to duplicate this, hit Command D, and then I'm going to put this on another layer, and then I'm going to ungroup while I make this inner shape a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to grab the outer shape here and make that a little bit bigger. And what this does for me is it allows me to run this at a much lower setting, but also ensure that I'm gonna get all of the powder coat when I run a second pass on top of our engraving. We will be sure that it fully melts the powder coat in the red area there. So that's what I want there. The next thing I want to do is pretty much the same thing for this black section of our design. I got to grab these two, join that. I'm going to grab this black section. So now I'm just going to hide this. Okay, I'm going to grab the offset and put that on another layer and do the same thing for this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to engrave this out, and then we're going to put our powder coat in there, and then we're going to melt the black powder coat with this layer, and then we're going to engrave our border here, and then we're going to melt the border with this layer, and then we're going to cut it out. That's going to be the order. So now I'm going to assign our powder coat settings. So now that we're done designing, we're going to go ahead and head over to our Momport Onyx R 55 watt laser to cut this out. Link in the description.
So it turned out okay, but we do have some burn marks here where I noticed we were doing our powder coat layer over here and I was using the offset fill instead of the regular fill that just kind of goes back and forth. The offset fill just follows the path all the way along, but it was getting too hot here and I noticed that it was turning black over the tape. So I knew we probably burnt through. So unfortunately we will have these four corners here. We could probably paint on top of that if we really wanted to clean that up. But otherwise that's pretty neat results. We also ended up making another sign using this technique. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.